I'm Max. <laughs>savory flavor of rice gum's balls gently cradled upon my tongue. The juicy girth of Cameron Dallas's erect chode violently tearing into my prepubescent hips. The sweet, greasy kiss from the chinless mouth of Leafy's face dripping down my cheek. I am not just a fan. I am not just displaying my support. I'm not just expressing love. I am obtusely disengaging common sense and rationality out of adoration for an individual who, without a doubt, loves me, and talks to me, and most definitely cares about my personal existence, to the point where me and my brother and or sisterhood of the most competent and open-minded people that this world could ever witness are communicating accurately cogent statements of genuine intelligence to all of you who disagree with us. We are absolutely not the kind of people who would viciously ambush, mass dislike, and attack you, your friends, and the people that you support, even when your criticisms and observations make close to 100% sense and are presented extremely well. And you know why that doesn't happen? Because you're factually incorrect. Jacob Sartorius slash Ricegum slash Leafy slash Cameron Dallas slash every other generic preteen idol is the perfect human being and every mistake that anyone points out is a lie. And even if there was any proof for any of the bad things he did, then he did it for valuable reasons and shouldn't be criticized for it. And my vagina is wet just thinking about how much of a sweetheart he is and how much he sincerely cares about me. Oh my god, I love him. And it's not like I want him to be perfect. I don't want to deny everything that says otherwise. That's just reality. And in the impossible eventuality that he wasn't perfect, his flaws would still make him who he is. A beautiful person. Not to mention, he's way more better and beautifuler, and funnier, and everything greater than any of you are. You're just jealous. You hear that, everyone? You're all just fucking jealous. Every single one of you. Not because you genuinely believe that there is a problem, kind of like how you people scrutinize terrorists. You don't do that because you truly conclude that terrorism is a disgusting and unacceptable phenomenon happening on the world. You do that because you're jealous of terrorists. Speaking from my logic, everything ever worded against the person or idea that us fangirls and fanboys are in love with is specifically because you are a hater. We are in fact not evolved human beings with developed brains consisting of continuously firing neurons that are filled with complex thought processes and interpretations of the world surrounding us. You're just haters hating for no reason. That is a fact. And it's not like fangirls have similar or even the exact mindset that is correspondent to that of an extremist terrorist. Yeah. We both devote an unholy amount of time to defending the reputation of an idea or an individual. I'll give you that. And yeah, we both unconditionally ignore reality and any logical expositions made against me or what we are defending. And yes, yeah, some of us are willing to die for that person or belief, or at the very least attack people that have something against it, almost no different from a sleeper cell. And yeah, we were both exposed to these conditions at a young age during a critical point in our life. But, but all of those don't matter. A fangirl has a pretty distinct mindset from a terrorist. I think we can all agree on that. Can we agree on that? Someone's gotta agree on it. And uh, even if no one here agrees on it, that's okay, because you're all fucking stupid, you all don't know what you're talking about, you're all crazy, it's definitely not me, it's all of you. I am a perfectly sound, sane, and altogether well-rounded human being. I think I can at least agree on that. I am without a doubt mature enough to see that I am not retarded, wasteful, and stupid for loving someone who is actually my real-life future husband or wife. For real. I mean, you seriously can't question me. I'm in my pre-teens slash teenage years, the most astute and wisest years of a person's life, filled with great life decisions and sensible moral choices. Everything that I am doing is irrefutable. Step into my shoes real quick. I was feeling depressed, or sad, or had a bad day, or was bored and saw a clickbait thumbnail and title in my YouTube recommendations, instead of something like the Earl Nightingale speech or anything else that may actually improve me as a person and my outlook on life, because YouTube prefers showing me mainstream garbage than hidden gems. I click on it, had a few good laughs, and went on to the next one. 
I start to understand the personality and idiosyncrasies of the person that I'm watching, and at this point I'm most likely finding them cute because statistically speaking, those who are more conventionally attractive garner exceedingly more and larger amounts of obsessive fans, which is the exact reason why I'm not an obsessive fangirl of the fine bros, and it's also why Jacob Sartorius is allowed to rip apart my clitoris and abuse me and treat me like shit, and I'd still love him because he's honestly flawless, honestly. Alright, sarcasm aside for a minute real quick. As someone who looks up to iDubbbz as an omnipresent figure who warns rain over the totality of the macrocosm, I understand what it's like. But if I found out he did something really stupid, like made an idiot of himself, or touched children, or slaughtered people, I would consider not being a complete and utter ignoramus to that fact. Whereas Leafy did something like that, I am certain that a portion of his fangirls would continue to touch themselves and even hashtag a stupid fucking phrase like, Stand with Leafy. Leave Leafy alone. Calvin side or suicide? Like here's an actual conversation with a Leafy fan. And what would you do if Leafy killed and raped a four year old? I'd still love him, he's still amazing and he probably had good reasons for doing it. That four year old must have deserved it. Are you fucking kidding me? No, seriously, like legit, I'd want him to rape me. That four-year-old would honestly be so lucky. I'm gonna be as honest as I can. You do not deserve to breathe. Shut the fuck up, you're just stupid. For people like this, I sincerely hope, with every microscopic thread of faith I have in this universe, that you find out you have AIDS tomorrow. You do not deserve to categorically subsist within any form or type of plane in existence. I know I'm not the only one who's had this kind of interaction with a fangirl or fanboy before. Some of them can be some of the most fucked up people that deserve nothing less than an eternally painful eradication, or just a few more years to develop their asinine premature brains, but they better fucking contain themselves before something bad happens, because I can genuinely see this kind of behavior provoking someone to shoot up their school. All joking aside though, fangirling is perhaps the most elevatedly immaculate achievement you can ever attain in this world. So get lined up behind the swarms of other fangirls and fanboys ready to suckle on the ball sack of a trivial famous person that will never know who any of you are. Time and effort well spent, I must say. Toodles.